Hello YouTube. So in this video, I want to talk about how I saved over $100,000 in just two years and how you can do it too. Before I start, I just want to mention that I did not come from money. In fact, it's the opposite. I grew up in a low income city in Southern California and I was raised by a single mom. I attended public schools my whole life and I didn't inherit any money. In fact, I started with a total net worth of negative $30,000 thanks to student and car loans. So how did I do it? Well, let's begin with the most important step. The motive. Why do you want to save 100k? Is it for an emergency fund? Do you want to buy a house? Or maybe you just want to see six digits in your bank account. Whatever the case may be, you have to really think about why you want this money and use that as a main driving factor for you to save. In my case, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't for a good reason, but it was a reason strong enough to allow me to make the necessary sacrifices to do it. And here it is. Yes, I wanted a Porsche, really, really bad. At the time, this car was worth just over 100K. So I told myself that I would do everything in my power to pay off all my debt and save up 100k to buy my dream car. So what you need to do is do the same and find that motivation that will push you to do what's necessary to save. The next step is pretty obvious and it's to get a good paying job. You can't save any money if you're not making any. And as you all know, in my case, I got an electrical engineering degree and I landed a job in Silicon Valley making an 82k base salary. So if you're in school right now, and you're in any way interested in cars, airplanes, computers, electronics, or just science and technology, I would really recommend you get an engineering degree. You will be challenged, but your efforts will continue to innovate, and as a bonus, you will make a good salary. If you're interested in knowing how to land an engineering job, check out my channel, I have various videos on that subject. After finding the motivation and a good paying job, the next thing that you have to do is cut down your expenses. This will probably be the hardest part for some people because in my experience, I saw several of my peers do quite the opposite and succumb to lifestyle inflation. As soon as they got the job, they leased a fancy apartment, they bought a brand new car, and they started buying more expensive clothes and accessories. In fact, I saw single people in the Bay Area paying more than $2,000 a month for a one bedroom apartment just because they wanted a bachelor's pad. And although it's tempting, these are all things that you have to be willing to sacrifice if you want to save your first 100 grand. In my case, instead of leasing an apartment, I rented a room and split my cost among roommates. I kept driving my Corolla and basically kept using the same set of clothes I used in college, reducing my total monthly expenses to less than 1500 a month. That's less than 18k a year, leaving me with about 40k a year after taxes to save. So cut down your cost of living as much as possible. In fact, I would go as far as to encourage you to live with your parents if possible, to allow you to save the majority of your income and avoid lifestyle inflation. Since you can avoid buying furniture and other items required for a new place. For some people, this will be the most difficult, but it's definitely the most important. And you have to think about the first step, your motivation to make it happen. The next step I like to call automation. And what you need to do is number one, Open up a high yield savings account. Number two, open up a brokerage account. Number three, calculate your monthly expenses after reducing your cost of living. And number four, in your company's direct deposit form, send only the bare minimum to your checking account and the rest divided into these other two accounts. The ratio of how much will go to the savings versus investing will depend on how much risk you're able to tolerate. But in my case, I saved about 60% in the savings account and invested the other 40% in an S&P 500 index fund. And all bonuses, profit sharing, and any additional income would just go into these two buckets. I will admit though, part of the reason why I was able to reach 100K so fast was because between August 2016 and August 2018, the S&P 500 kept on rising. And even now with current world events, I still believe that investing in the market is a great idea because over the long term, it has always recovered and consistently returned about 7% per year adjusted for inflation. And finally, become indispensable in your field. 
Take on the challenge at your job and pick up the skills that no one wants to learn. Study at night and on the weekends and learn the tools and instruments that no one likes to touch. Ask questions and record all of your accomplishments at your job. What this will do is make you a valuable asset in your field and will allow you to encourage a good raise and bonuses at your company or allow you to move to a new company to get an automatic raise. And if you maintain your same lifestyle, this will expedite your savings and allow you to reach 100K faster than expected. In my case, I apply these tips and as a result, I got a promotion one year after starting my career, got a good raise, bonuses, and all this allowed me to save at a faster rate and allowed me to pay 30 grand in student loans and save more than 100 grand in just two years. So to recap, number one, find your motivation. Number two, get a good paying job. Number three, reduce your cost of living. Four, automate. And five, become indispensable. In the end, I ended up not buying the Porsche and I decided to use that money to buy a house instead. As for my reasoning, I'll explain it in a future video. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and hopefully it encouraged you to fulfill your dreams no matter where you started. If you liked the video, please give it a like and let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.